Arctic amplification refers to the faster warming of the Arctic compared to the rest of the northern hemisphere as sea ice disappears. It is fueled by a feedback loop. Rising global temperatures are melting Arctic sea ice, leaving dark open water that absorbs more solar radiation, further warming the Arctic. Hello everyone, welcome back to today's topic of the day. Today we'll be discussing about the Arctic amplification or Arctic warming. According to the recent study, Arctic is heating four times faster than the rest of the planet. The warming is more concentrated in the Eurasian part of the Arctic, where the Barents Sea north of Russia and Norway is warming at an alarming rate that is seven times faster than the global average. Now let's discuss about the Arctic region. It is commonly understood to refer to the region above the Arctic Circle, north of latitude 66 degree 34 minutes north, which includes the Arctic Ocean with the North Pole at its center. Now, there are eight Arctic states that form the Arctic Council. These are Canada, Denmark, Finland, Iceland, Norway, Russia, Sweden and United States of America. Now about the Arctic amplification. Global warming, the long-term heating of the Earth's surface, hastened due to the anthropogenic forces or human activities since pre-industrial times and has increased the planet's average temperature by 1.1 degrees Celsius. While changes are witnessed across the planet, any any change in the surface air temperature and the net radiation balance tend to produce larger changes at the north and south poles. This phenomenon is known as polar amplification. These changes are more pronounced at the northern latitudes and are known as the Arctic amplification. Now let's have a look at the causes of the Arctic amplification. Now the studies show that the ice albedo feedback, that is measure of reflectivity of the surface, and the lab rate feedback are responsible for 40% and 15% of polar amplification respectively. The lapse rate is the rate at which the temperature drops with elevation decreases with warming. In the Arctic's case, global warming is resulting in diminishing sea ice. As the sea ice melts, the Arctic Ocean will be more capable of absorbing solar radiation, thereby driving the amplification. Now coming to the consequences of Arctic warming. First, rising sea level, the Greenlandic ice sheet holds the second largest amount of ice after Antarctica and therefore it is crucial for maintaining the sea level. Global warming, the permafrost in the Arctic is thawing and in turn releasing carbon and methane which are among the major greenhouse gases responsible for global warming. Biodiversity, the warming of the Arctic Ocean and the seas in the region, the acidification of water, changes in the salinity levels are impacting the biodiversity including the marine species and the dependent species. Connectivity, Arctic's ice meltdown and its geographical location will ensure shortest sea distance between America, Europe and Northeast Asia. This will likely transform the maritime commerce presently conducted through the traditional east-west route through the Malacca Strait and the Swiss Canal. Monsoons, the link between the impact changing the Arctic and monsoons in India is growing in importance due to the extreme weather events the country faces and the heavy reliance on rainfall for water and food security. Next is minerals and hydrocarbon resources. Arctic region has high deposits of coal, gypsum and diamonds and also sustainable reserves of zinc, lead, placer gold and quartz. The Arctic also contains a wealth of hydrocarbon resources. And the last one is geopolitics. The opening of the shipping routes and the possibilities of increased resources extraction is leading to the big three US, China and Russia and NATO fighting for position and influence in the region. Now let's know about the India's Arctic policy. In March 2022, government of India released the India's Arctic Policy titled India's Arctic Policy Building a Partnership for Sustainable Development. The six pillars of the policies are as follows science and research, economic and human development cooperation, climate and environmental protection, transportation and connectivity, governance and international cooperation, and national capacity building. Now, this was a little bit about Arctic amplification. Let's take a practice question from the topic. Now, which of the following country is not a member of the Arctic? Arctic Council. Sweden, United States, Canada, United Kingdom. You may take a moment and give your answer in the comment section below. Now the correct answer is D. United Kingdom is not a member of the Arctic Council. I hope you liked the video and found the information useful. You may also check out our current affairs section on our website and for more such videos, stay tuned to the next IOS YouTube channel.